Hello everyone, my name is Shirin Zhang and today I'm going to talk about Charles Atlas, American artist and bodybuilder. Charles Atlas artworks brought me to the conversation of choosing film as being the media to convey the information. The recorded video as the media itself have the embedded property of linear storytelling, but at the same time it has the possibility to be edited and its potential of breaking the chronology. And Charles Atlas does this by layering different scenes together. In terms of editing, for example, in freeze film, Charles Atlas used the repetition of images in layering spontaneous human bodies, movement and gestures, and there is edited glitch in certain parts. It forms an illusion that the action happened in the video is timeless, circled and vague, more like a stream of consciousness. Parallel frames from different camera views are also used in this case. The two split and four splits of frames provides the audience more information at the same time, which have similar effects like cubism showing a 3D objects and revealing the front and side view at the same time. Also, I want to bring up the topic of how successfully the information was being conveyed and received by multimedia, especially film and imagery media. And I want to expand in the role of the audience as well as the creator, like Charles Atlas in this case. The audience is passively in receiving sound and visual images, unlike reading, which the audience needs to receive subjectively. The time, order, and sound of viewing the work are fixed by the artist. The audience, meanwhile, have more immersive experience. And here I want to analyze Charles Atlas, the placement and movement of the cameras that determines the space for dancing. Here, for example, Charles inserts the artist Medin in 1982. The filmmaker used the concrete walls and floors for the background. Spotlights are used on the human bodies, and the symmetry is easily to be found when we just look at it per frame, as well as repetition in the dancer's throat and movement, which allows the audience can feel the rhythm without using music. What's more, the emptiness of the background created by concrete and simple geometry and the spotlight allows the audience to focus more on the movement of the dancing bodies. The frame itself as being a curator that was somehow filtering unwanted information meanwhile highlighting and emphasizing certain messages to the, to the audience. Therefore, by this process, the artist is being to have more conversation with the audience compared to other forms of media such as canvas-based media. In addition, in Charles Ellis' film artworks, we can easily found the multimedia are being used as well as the audience role in his artworks. For example, Charles Ellis' collaboration with Johanna that they combines techno music, dance performance, and the screen at the back that plays his film, which takes place lively in a museum. The differences between the fine film and live performance happened in a museum, which both from Charles Ellis in his artworks was that in live performance, the audience and the performance are in the same space, rather than being framed in a square screen. At this moment, the audience will be part of the performance as well as the display of the artwork. The audience have to selectively pick up the information by themselves, which Charles Ellis gave the audience the leadership of selecting which message to focus on. This leadership was absent in the forms of film if the audience just look at it in front of the screen, like we are doing right now. So for a brief summary, Charles Atlas artworks inspire me lots of reflection on the use of film and the sense of the media itself as being the message that conveyed to the audience. That's all, thank you.